this a bit. Hey, right now, man, you tuned in to the Off the Couch Podcast. And you know, when I say Off the Couch Podcast, we dealing with nothing but them street legends, you understand me? And today, I went and got the one and only A1 Calico. Big A1. What Big A1. Big A1. Big A1. Big A1. Hey, man, thank you for pulling up on me so soon. I really appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? 2023. Oh, yeah, for sure. 2023, man, we going up. We going live for the five, you understand me? And it's our business, you feel me? Off the muscle. So let's go ahead and get started, man. Uh, tell them people, what's your name and where you from? I ain't one Calico. I'm from East Texas. Tyler, Texas, to be exact. I'm straight out there now, you know what I'm saying? It's that now for me. Straight out there now, you feel me? It's that now for me, <laughs> Straight up. So look, what part of North Tyler are you from, man? For real, for real. I'm from every part of North Tyler. I'm from LA, TC, Tyler Square. Yeah. You feel me? However you want it. I'm right. all over there now. Uh, really? So what was that like, you know what I'm saying, coming up in that now? Because I know what it was like for me, you know what I'm saying? I'm 32. I know y'all are a little younger. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, like, what was that like, though, coming up in them hoods, in them projects, for sure, for us, TC and LA? I mean, shit, Section 8. You know what I'm saying? I feel like shit, everybody got a Section 8. Right. So shit, you know, just regular Section 8 shit. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? Regular hood shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here, man. Uh, what was it like coming up though? You know what I'm saying for you? Cause you ain't always been rapping. So did you ever want to, you know, like play ball or anything? Sports? Nah, really. I mean, I was playing ball. You know what I'm saying a little bit in, in school, but shit, this shit really wasn't see too serious. You know what I'm saying. So I really have been doing music since high school. You feel me? Since right. like my freshman year. Uh -huh. That's really when I started taking this shit a little serious. You know what I'm saying? Everybody was telling me how much I had this shit on lock. So right. I just ran with it. Yeah, for sure. So what high school did you go to? I went to shit. I went to I went to Lee. Uh -huh. I went to Chapel Hill and I went to John Tyler. I okay. graduated from John Tyler. Uh, really? Shout out to JT, Chapel Hill. You yeah, understand yeah. me? I went to Chapel Hill for sure. So uh, let's see here. How long have you been doing music for real? Like I said, I've been doing music shit since high school. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? You go look at my YouTube channel. You know what I'm right. saying? I got videos from high school. Okay. That's what's up. Uh. So one thing I want to commend you on, you know what I'm saying? I've been watching you, you know, for a while, actually. And, you know, I, I want to say I'm proud of you. And the reason I say that is because you're very consistent. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and one thing I really, really like about A1 Calico, his homies, they support him. You know what I'm saying? Like, to the guy, man. hey, them niggas, man, y'all niggas really be turned up and locked in, bro. I love that. A1 lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? It's A1, you know what I'm saying? Right. Always 100%, you feel me? So she just keep it 100 with ourselves and shit with the ones around us, you know, and that's right. how they go. Yeah. So what was that like? Like, how, how did that brotherhood and that, that, that homie lifestyle get so close, like, to where you guys, where they support you? I mean, I've been rapping for a long time, and, you know, it'd be hard to get my niggas to lock in. That's why I'm still doing it, you feel me? Like, shit, I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't for the people, <laughs> for you know what I'm saying? The people, they the ones that tell me, like, nigga, what the, keep doing this shit. You right. the one for us to make it out, you know right. what I'm saying? So. It's a gift, you feel me? I feel like it's a gift. Yeah. I love that, man. I love the way his homies, your homies support you, man. You know what I'm saying? That shit, like, really lit. So, you know, speaking on that Big A1 shit, like, how, how did that come about? I mean, shit, you looking at a Big A1. Like, shit, I've been A1 for for a long time, you feel me? Like, shit, we're a family, you know what I'm saying? It's just different generations of it. So, like, shit. Uh -huh. Um, we just making it a brand right now. We just running with it. So shit, I started making music off the off the brand, off the label. Right. So shit, um, I was like 12, 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? I got the tattoo. You know what I'm saying? I started uh, moving with the A1 shit, with the A1 lifestyle, with the right. A1 mindset. Because shit, everybody gang banging. So shit, right. I was trying to do something a little different. Right. So that A1 lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? And shit, I just... She kept it down, kept it real, and she right. and she just went with the time and she look at it now. Yeah, for sure. So does A one mean something? Or yeah, it mean always a hundred percent. Always a hundred percent. Okay, yeah. yeah, that shit fire. I like that. So you know, far as the music and you know the entertainment business, you know what you have learned, you know coming up, like what do you see Big A one in the next three to five years? Like where you see you, where you see you at? Shit, making music, doing uh little movie clips, goddamn writing books, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like shit, I just oh, yeah? myself grinding, you know what I'm saying? I'm just grinding. Uh -huh. I got kids, you feel me? Right. So like shit, I'm just trying to um put it out there for my kids to eat. Right, right, right. So when you say writing a book, like you, you really into that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What would the book be called if Big A One wrote a book? 
the life of A1 Calico. Uh, really? Shit, that's fine. I liked it. Uh, okay, so I know that you be on the road a lot. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, Tyler's the home. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to that TYL. Right. But you be in that city a lot. Right. So what's that city like? You know, it's just uh, a lot of people out there. So, like, it's just for marketing purposes and mm -hmm. business purposes. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, it helps you with your music. It helps you market yourself better. Because, mm -hmm. shit, it's a lot of people. So, you know, they got more opportunities. Right, right. So, are you linking in with any of those artists in the city? Or are you just kind of up there handling your business? Both of them, you know what I'm saying? I handle my business for sure. That's first. I'm going to handle my business off the muscle. But, right. you know, I'm going to um, start linking with other artists. Yeah. Okay, cool. So, you know, how do you like networking? I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, for About the business, you know what I'm saying? I, I love networking shit. The networking is the network. You right. know what I'm saying? So, like, shit, I'm about the business. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So, what about, like, doing features? I mean, do you have a lot of features, or are you you not getting into features? Yeah, or? I got a, um, I got a whole bunch of features, you know what I'm saying? Right now, man, me and my nigga Guala P working on a mixtape. All right, you feel me? okay. So, Shine like, Sun. Shine Sun, yeah, it's called Shine Sun. Yeah, I'll be ready. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I know that's going to be lit. Shine Sun. Yeah, man. Me and my nigga, um, Key Rock. I don't work with Key Rock. Uh -huh. yeah, man, like, Where he from? Key Rock from Tyler, but he signed to A&E right now in Atlanta. Uh, we be working at Dallas at Audio Heaven. Okay. Yeah, is that the studio I asked you about? Yeah, this is the only studio I go to right now. Audio right. Heaven, man. It's yeah. in at Audio Heaven. Go to Audio Heaven. Right. Know? And I be hearing your music, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, for us, Instagram and just... You know what you then put out, and I, I love the quality. Yeah, yeah you know what yeah, I'm saying. Don't get you right where you need to be. Right, and that follows my next question. So, what's the studio flow like for, for A1? You know, um, I've been doing music for a long time, so like shit, as of right now, everything coming from the soul. Like shit, I don't write. Like you know what I'm saying. I just go in and just yeah. I open the beat, make me feel like shit. That's what I go with. Right. Are you punching in, or you kind of just letting that beat go? I do both. Both you feel me. Okay. Sometimes I can go in that bitch in one take if the beat make me feel like that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes shit I be punching in. Right. So, you know, uh, so speaking on, you know, the studio flow and shit, like how often are you in the studio? I'm up in I'm up in the studio a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's where I that's where I'm at. Right. right. I'm I always love it. in the yo. Yeah. I'm always working. You know yeah. what I'm nigga be like, man, we don't see you no more, go shit. What you I mean, what? I mean that yoke. You know, nigga yeah, for real. Yeah. I'm locked in. I ain't yeah, trying to yeah. be out here uh street talking with you, nigga. I mean that yoke. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get done done in the streets, been doing ain't that. Nothing, ain't nothing yeah, that's real They're talk done, though. Yeah, Fuck them streets, man. Done. Bro, you know, man, nigga know. Yeah. Say A1 Calico and you and Tyler, nigga, know. Yeah, like Guala P, you know. Right, right. And I love that, man. You know, when I go get my haircut, Guala P, I see your uh, signature up on the wall over there at, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, at uh, the Kelly Cuts. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, my yeah. Shit. You, you, ain't, you, ain't, you must have been looking too good because my sign right there behind Tori. Really? Behind Tori shit she on my mommy. Oh, I, I was on the other side. Oh, he talking about yeah, over yeah. there at Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris okay, 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 Where the woman at? Yeah, for sure. So... You know, uh, what did you, okay, so I guess, you know, for us, the A1 Calico name, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean, shit, the A1, you know, I'm A1 and shit, Calico my last name. Okay. So, like, it was just kind of easy for me, like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody, Calico, really, I ain't really never heard of Calico. A lot of people ain't heard of this shit. Right. So, like, shit, that's what, that's what a nigga go by, like, that's what people call me, like, shit, I ain't make this shit up, like, right. shit, everybody else start calling me that. Right. So, like, shit, that's what that I do. authentic. Like, it's authentic, yeah. you know, like shit. So they can't take that? Can't take at that. all. Like my kids last night, Calico and everything. Oh, so yeah. Like, this shit for real. We going up. So when you speak on kids, man, I, I was just watching the, uh, you know, the North Tyler interview. Uh, Welcome to Tyler, I believe it's called. Yeah, I had five kids then. I got seven now. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Damn, boy. I got seven G's. Seven different women. Hey, Wow. Yeah, yeah, my So what's that like? You ain't doing, you ain't on child support, are you? I'm on child support for my first one. I had my first daughter, I was 16. So like, you know, like shit, I really wasn't trying to listen to nobody. You right, know what right. I'm saying? So like shit, I just went against the grain. Mm -hmm. But shit, after that, like shit, I got my head on the swivel, nigga. Like shit, it really ain't even that hard. It mm -hmm. ain't as hard as shit. It probably looked. You or sound. Yeah, or for sound. sure. Or sound. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, shit. you know, uh, I only got one kid, man, and he's 16. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So... You know, when I first had my son, I might have been 16. You know, right. you know what I'm saying? And now that he's 16, you know, when he was first born, I was like, child support, like, I tried to give you the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, to the female, you know what I mean? And you go put the white folk in a nigga live? Like, like, for Sometimes, us. Sometimes, though, it don't even be about you doing, you know what I'm saying? Just being be there for them. Right. Because the nigga could be there for them and the kid, but 
they just be fucked up about their own shit. shit. Then they gonna just, go with their move. Saying, like shit, the female right. can knock a nigga too. Like shit, you better, me. Like shit, the female will knock you too. Knock you too. Yeah, right. They gonna knock you the hardest. Hard yeah, so you gotta yeah. really watch that shit. Well, it'd like, be like, really. fucked up because it'd be like, damn, you. It'd be a motherfucker you love too. That. Just do a nigga ass Do either. a nigga ass Or just wanna see a nigga Fucked up like Hey yeah Like I damn see. You you wanna see me Fucked up like Damn you don't yep. care About the shit That a nigga do got going You wanna see me Fucked up right. For your own Selfish benefit though Right yeah That shit not pathetic. really Doing nothing Yeah that shit You probably done Broke way more bread but like, shit, I love it all, like oh, shit, you know, yeah. Like, Witcher, yeah, or not even Witcher, just no still, child support, no, right? Yeah, I don't knock it for you, people. Like, like <laughs> Do shit. you? Uh, so I guess you know my question to that is, you know, like how when you got put on child support, how did you feel? Like, were you like, man, I ain't finna pay that bullshit, or you nah, just like, I'm, I'm feeling like, bitch, you think this finna stop me, me? Bitch, I'm, I'm really <laughs> yeah, like you <laughs> think this finna stop no, me? Come on, ready. we can go do it together. Like I was yeah. a hothead. Like I'm like, bitch, it don't matter. You think these folks finna stop a nigga from getting to some money or something? Right. Bitch, hell, nah, don't we gonna do this shit together right now. Yeah. What's up? I'ma go to court with you and sign with you. Come on, right? You feel me, hothead? Shit, stupid shit, right. young nigga shit. Right. Hell, so nah. you know, compared to that attitude, like you know, now that you've been on child support for a little while. I shouldn't have did this stupid ass shit. <laughs> Hell, you see, I ain't did it again. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? Is right, this? right. Okay, okay. Well, you know what I'm saying? Shit, I, I, I said, you know what I'm saying? It's shit, like shit, I, they don't really be in my life like that. They don't be fucking with me like that. Right, you know as long as you pay them for. Yeah, but you shit. know, for the longest man, when I was 16 and my son was like, he might have been like three. So at this time, I'm like 17. And I remember getting served child support papers at work as a teenager. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I wear that Super One. You know what I'm saying? Like the the Mexican Super One. You remember that? They wear that hood before they changed it. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, them people walked up. Are you such and such? You have been served. And it was some child support papers. Oh, I would have been hot at the job. Well, that shit, like, really fucked me up. See, I did that myself, so I'm like, fuck it. Then the second came, and you know, I was like, shit, nah, I ain't really on that type of time. Right. You know what I'm well, saying? That's I don't good, really man. have no drama, no shit like that, neither. So, right, like, right. I'm good. Oh, that's what's up, man. I'm glad that, you know, you stepped up, taking care of them kids. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's that's really good. all about. You feel me? So, you know, in other news, I recently seen that you all had, like, a, a big A1 party at Empire. Oh, yeah. Uh, that was on Christmas. On Christmas yeah. Day? Okay, yeah. No, it was, like, Christmas was like, weekend. or Christmas uh, weekend? Yeah. It's so good. December 24th, Christmas, oh, right before Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, okay. Saturday. Right. Whatever Saturday it was. Okay. Went dumb. Yeah, dumb. Dumb. This is dumb. Right. Everybody want party dumb, man. I've been throwing parties for a long time. Like, shit, like, really shit. I threw a graduation party right after I graduated. Mm -hmm. And that bitch went dumb. And it's really what made a nigga just start going stupid. Like, right. you know, like, the people fuck with me. So, like, shit, they be wanting a nigga to do that. Yeah. They be wanting a nigga to do that shit. That's what's up. So, you know, I guess that follows up with, you know, what is what is it like with A1 Calico and the promoters out here in East Texas? You know what I'm saying? Like, the DJs and things of that nature. I'm you got TV, a good relationship? That's my DJ. Like, that's my DJ. Like, TV, that's my DJ. If I shoot out of town, if he shoot out of town, we're going to link up. That's my dog. That's, right. my, that's my round. Yeah. Shout out to TV. Shout out to TV. The shit, shit. Show. as a, the promoters, I fuck with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. shit, I nigga, I love everybody. Nigga, right. everybody love hey, one calico. So yeah. everybody I already know is love with me. Right? Like shit, I don't do no hate, no no nigga. I ain't none of this going <laughs> on. Right. Yeah, I I I I, I sense that from you. You know what I'm saying? When I first met you, or you know even heard about you rapping and shit, I was like, this little nigga really got it going on. You yeah, know what I'm like, saying? Like I ain't worried about nobody else. I'm in my own um, lane. Like I do my yeah. own fucking thing. Like I ain't looking at nobody. Nobody worried about nobody. I ain't worried about, worried nobody. about like, what you doing. Nigga, hold on, That's I'm a nigga it. with him. Like ain't no nigga Straight stopping up. me. I ain't I ain't none of it. Like yeah. I'm a real nigga. Like that's why God bless me. You feel right, me? right. Yeah. Well, I see a bright future for you. You know what I'm saying for Appreciate sure. You. So, you know, that goes to, you know what I'm saying, I see you icy right now. Is that like a boosted fade or is that just an A1 Calico I mean, fade? I've been having this bitch since I was like 12 years old. I'm 28 right now, so right. shit. I would just say that. Yeah. So is it like an A1 or is it a boosted? It's boosted fade. It's, still a, it's that boosted fade, but shit, I've been having this bitch so long. It's that A1 Calico fade. Yeah. My kids got it and everything. Oh, yeah, that whole look good on you, though. For sure. I bet Boosie be like, yeah, that nigga shit icy. I've been having my shit so long, like shit. My head and I, my head grow like that now. Right. Yeah. That's what's up. All right, so what was like, uh, what was South by Southwest like? Did you all go? I've been for a long time, like shit. So um, this last this last time I went, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, I always link up with artists, you feel me? I try to get a little couple shows in as I can, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And just network as much as possible. Right. So, uh, you know, like, have you ever went down there with, like, some CDs and shit? 
um, or you just kind of. I go down there. I go down there with like posters. I go down there with like shirts. You know what I'm saying? CDs if I need CDs. But I go down there with like some other shit, like the merch. Uh, the little barcode where you can scan it, bitch, and get all my information. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's some fly shit. Promoting. I remember uh, my my first time going to South by Southwest, man. I was like in my twenties, um, and it was like a bad experience for me. What happened? Uh, you know, like you know, back in the day, I was pressing up CDs, posting up at DNA, selling them, in, you know, doing that that networking street shit, right? right. Uh, I went down there, I posted, I posted up, you know, what I'm saying I was pushing out my CDs, giving them away, I wasn't necessarily trying to make no money off of them, but I put a lot of money to get them made. So doing that, when I'm handing people my CDs, they were like throwing my shit on the ground. Oh yeah, that's part of the game, my that's boy. Part of the like, game. Shit, they don't come with like, it. But check this out, I like, did some fly shit. I took some. Dollars with my face on it. It looked like a bill. You oh, just yeah. printed it right. on the back end. Mm -hmm. Put the nigga. Niggas like. gonna throw your shit on the ground. That's part of the game. Like shit, everybody. But you just to hit shit. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. I dressed up in a money bag. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> oh what? <laughs> Pull it up on them people in the money bag on blue. Oh man. Yeah, everybody. Ain't we was down there together, side by side with. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everybody ain't trying to see. You. Everybody don't want to hear. Yeah, everybody want to see that shit. But when they thought I'm finna give them some money, go what they did. They run up on your head. Oh, damn. Oh, yeah, you, man. Yeah, I got you. Go on, scan that bitch. Right. Yeah, that's some fly <laughs> put shit, my, Put my name down, bitch. Yeah. CDs, Straight like, up. Like, shit, I done printed up CDs before. A whole bunch of CDs. Mm -hmm. Like, shit, one by one. Yeah. Like, shit, nigga, throw your shit on the ground. It's all good. So it comes Keep grinding it. Right. Keep grinding. Okay, so let me ask you, like, a social media question. Uh, What do you like more, Instagram or Facebook? I ain't gonna lie, I like that gram. Follow me on that gram. I ain't yeah. gonna calico, you know what I'm saying? But I fuck with the book, but like shit, the Facebook for me is like some family shit. So like, I really gotta watch what I say, like watch what I post, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My granny out here watching me, you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Shout out to your granny. Yeah. Hey, my mama on my Facebook page, every time I post something, she, well, what is you talking about on that My Instagram, a whole different story. I got ass shaking music. Oh, yeah, yeah definitely. All type of shit, just market and promote myself. Right. And one thing I want to say about that, you know, I, like I say, I be watching you. And it's so player, like how the females, they rocking with the A1 movement. Yeah, sure, like, sure. they going to pull up to the video shoot. They yeah. going to throw that ass. Yeah, like, that shit, that shit yeah. lit, bro. Yeah, like, um, like shit, the more, the more shit, the more you show, like shit. The more they, the more they want to go, you know. What yeah, saying? for so sure. Like, like shit. If one female see a, one female doing it, and she, if she doing it like shit good enough, if she doing it good, right? You know what I'm saying? Like shit. The other female gonna try to do it better, and like, no, you yeah. know, this shit. And it's all promotion. Like, that. like right. it's a whole bunch of dancers. Everybody dancing right now. Yeah. So like, you know, it's just the movement. Right. So from the love that you get from the city and the females that dance, you know, they help you with the music or whatever. Uh, and videos and things of that nature. Like, how do you feel knowing that you got that that backing and that support, like from your homies and the females? Yeah, I just think shit. Like, shit, I'm blessed off the muscle. You know what I'm saying? Cause like, shit, I ain't got no felony or no shit like that. Oh, like, that's shit, a blessing. I'm around a whole bunch of feelings. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. shit. So I'm blessed. I thank God every day. Yeah. You feel me? Like, but shit, like. You know, like shit, it's just real. You know what I'm saying? Like they just feel this shit. This shit just real. Like this shit just authentic. Like you know what I'm saying? Like shit. Exactly. If, it were, if it weren't like that, I wouldn't be doing mean? this shit. Right. Like if if the people weren't fucking with it, if my granny nail, my daughter nail, weren't telling me do this shit, my partner nail, my brother nail, weren't telling me do this shit, I wouldn't be doing this shit. Right. Like you know what I'm saying? Like shit, I'm doing this shit like for them. Like you know what I'm saying? Like it helped me vent. You know what I'm saying? Help me get off the shit I need to get off. Right. But like for the most part, I do this shit for my people. Like oh, shit, God. so we yeah. can get this shit. So like, this shit, get this shit. Get right. this shit. So far yeah. as uh, if you wasn't if it wasn't music, like what would you be doing? If it wasn't music, man, I don't fucking know what the fuck <laughs> I'd be doing. If it wasn't no motherfucking music, I ain't gonna lie. Like shit, yeah. I'd be trying to just uh start like a fucking uh like a clothing brand and try to move it like that. Like it uh, it'll still be like um like self. Employed shit, you right. know what I'm saying? Like it always be self-employed shit. Mm -hmm. I don't fucking know what the fuck I be doing. Like they just help me start my shit off. Not saying that I be doing music for the rest of my life. Right. The music is just like the sound of it. You know what I'm saying? People shit like therapy, really. Shit. Like yeah. yeah, it's like therapy, but people want to hear some shit. So it's like the sound, like in the face. You know what I'm saying? It's for the brand. Right. You feel me? Like it's just to open it up. Like mm -hmm. shit, nigga might be doing some movies, like I said. You right. You know what I'm saying? Like books like yeah. shit, whole other shit like and i see that for you man like on the hood like from you know from 
from the sideline watching, like, this nigga really, like, you really got a good chance. I'm self-employed, nigga. I'm independent, nigga, for real. Like, nigga, I ain't got nobody, like, nigga, on the side of me telling me what to do, like, right. telling me how to do this shit, giving me money to do this shit. No, mm, nigga, I'm coming shit. up with the plan. I'm coming up with the money. I'm coming right. up with the music. I'm yeah. coming up with all this shit. Right. And it's a lot of people depending on me, like you just said. So it's like, shit, this shit just make me just go even harder, like, shit. Come up with more shit, you yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. I want you to keep going, man. Uh, so you know, far as like the mainstream artists, who would be some of the artists that you like to work with? Off the most, you know what I'm saying? Boosie for shit show. That's my round. Boosie, come get this feature, man. Boosie, that's my round. Like shit, I fuck with God and Bag, Baby, Young Boy, nigga, anybody, nigga, whoever wanted, nigga. I'm gonna right. give them pressure, nigga. On Jesus, I hope yeah. it don't matter. It's our business. Right. I do a feature with anybody, nigga. Ain't no pressure. Right. So you know, for speaking on features, like if you was to get Boosie on the phone, you know he gonna want a bag. Like you gonna put it up? Off the muscle. Right. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? I know yeah. it's gonna come right back around. Yeah, and you know, for the longest man in my career, I never really looked at it like that. I used to always be like, man, why these industry niggas don't support a nigga? And you know, you can tag them all day long and Instagram Everybody and tag them. yeah, you know Everybody what I'm saying? Tag them, no. Right. What's gonna make you a star? Yeah, exactly. But like, mm -hmm. shit, you gotta you gotta invest, my my guy. Like, shit, like, nigga, I've been investing in myself for a long fucking time. You feel me? Like, you gotta get better, like, with everything, everything. you do, like, nigga, like, you just gotta invest. You know what I'm saying? You gotta look at it like something you love, like something like shit. It's what you're gonna be doing for a long time, like right. shit, for the next 10 years of your life. So, like, you just gotta invest, you feel me? Like, and whatever a good investment is, shit, hit that shit and it's gonna double. Right. So, you know, for his merch, uh, I was watching some of your videos and I see that you got like the shirts with the A1 on it, the shorts. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, like, shirt, like how, who put that together for you? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, I had a couple people, a couple of my guys, a couple of my people, a couple of my teammates put that shit together for me. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, we just printed up. We just went and got some shirts, printed this shit up, and mm -hmm. she, you know, gave it to the people I need to give it to. Yeah, that's what's up, man. Let me get one of them one shirt. Uh, so I was listening to the music. Right. Um, Say Less. Okay. What was that, what was that like in the studio when you dropped Say Less? I ain't gonna lie, shout out to Audio Heaven, cause like shit, he was like, I just came, I just came with the beat. Mm -hmm. And he like, man, what we gonna name this song? And I probably said some crazy shit. And then like, or he probably said some crazy shit. And I'm like, man, say less. Right. And he was like, nigga, that's what we gonna name it, say yeah. less. And when he said that, I just came, went in there, went and came up with the lyrics, like yeah. shit, just like that. That's what's up, man. Uh, so far as the East Texas artists, uh, what would be some of the people that you want to work with? I work with anybody from East Texas. You know what I'm saying? I see everybody working. Guadalupe, that's my round. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we got a mixtape on the way. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Seiko, Bino. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of it's a lot of people working. You know, Smitty, yeah. Journey, Gabby, Giovanni. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of T. Jones. It's a lot of people working. You feel me? Like shout out to everybody in East Texas that's working. You feel me? Cause mm -hmm. like. We ain't really no music city. We ain't never had nobody put us on like this. Right. So like, we really the first really ones come around just trying yeah. to get to it, how we trying to get to it. You know what I'm so shout out to every nigga that's getting it in. Like, mm -hmm. it don't matter yeah. where you from, nigga. Like, if you in East Texas, we I'll work with you for yeah. free, nigga. It don't matter, nigga. Nah. Don't fuck with me. For real. That's how you get out there, though, man. A lot of niggas be on some, man, I don't even fuck with that nigga. He's a... That nigga wear the booty for hate. I ain't fucking with that whole ass nigga. Ain't no pressure, nigga. Come on, let me. I ain't hate no no nigga. I ain't, ain't waiting on no nigga. I ain't none of that. Right. Man. Yeah, we damn sure ain't waiting on no nigga. That's how niggas get left behind. You want your partner them to be, you know what I'm saying, support you and do what this, that, and the third. But if you don't, you know what I'm saying, move and groove how you groove, then shit. Yeah, nigga. You're going to be sitting around you waiting on some nigga. So, let's see here, man. Uh, the jungle. Now when that first when that first jump out, bro, I'm 31. Man, mm -hmm. if A1 Calico ain't promoting it, that bitch ain't doing nothing. Come on, man, this shit, this shit for real. Like oh, this shit man. is for real. You know what I'm saying? I'm thankful for the jungle, nigga. My mama got the jungle, nigga. My mama and her dude put in on the jungle. So yeah, man, shout out to them. Got it. You know what I'm saying? When it was on 31. Yeah. And they were trying to do their little thug. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I'm really telling them like, look. I see what y'all on, but let me get up in this bitch and do my thug. And, and it's gonna, did. It's going to happen. Yeah. Happen. Happen. Shit, that's what happened. Right. It happened. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, shit, became one of the hottest, hottest 
venues. Like, nigga, hey, what you finna do? Shit, I'm finna go to the, go to the jungle. Go to the jungle. If you in East Texas, nigga, you, you, had, you had to come to the jungle. Pull up. Yeah. Show this. It's still a jungle right now. It's right. another jungle right now going on. And then far as, you know, the jungle being on 31, and then you had the strip club on down the street. Y'all still packing that bitch out. Like, A1 and now. A1. On, wherever A1 go, the that's people go. That's some big A1 shit real. right there, like, man. Big A1, like, wherever that shit is, like, that's what people coming to. That shit for real, like a magnet, bro. Shit like a magnet, and it ain't no hatred. Right. Ain't no hating shit. Ain't no drama. It's gonna be fun, nigga. Ratchet, nigga. Right. And some get money shit. Yeah, that's what's up, man. So you know, for inspiring artists that's on the come up right now, like what would be some positive message or some game that you could give them? Shit, nigga, don't stop for one. Like, shit, don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, that's all I like to say. Like, shit, nigga, and, like, uh, a, like a baby. Like my granny said, like a baby, you gotta cry before you walk. Right. You dig? So, like, shit, nigga, don't matter if you ain't got, nigga, no money, nigga. Like, nigga, just do what you gotta do. Right. You feel me? Get you some money, though. Like, for shit, show. Like, yeah. nigga, start off with 50 cent, get you a dollar, nigga, go from there. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, shit, it ain't gonna happen, nigga. Like my granny say, nigga, shit ain't never been nobody who come from the top and at the top. Right. Nigga, everybody, everybody had to work Everybody had up. to come from the bottom. Like, yeah. like a baby, you gotta crawl before you walk. Definitely. For real. Yeah, so uh, for the people, man, that support you and that follow you on social media, what can they expect from you? What's next for Big more A1? More music, more videos, you know what I'm saying? More merch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, shit, more podcasting, more interviews, more right. linking with artists. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Just yeah, more, definitely. It's just more. I'm finna give them what they, I'm finna give them what they need because they've been at me, they've been asking, they've been pushing me and shit. So I'm finna go in and give them what they want for shit show. Yeah. Well, man, from the short grand side of things, bro, I want to see you do good. You and Guadalupe, man. You got right. some young jits and y'all yeah. got it. You know what I'm saying? I want to see you niggas up. I want to see you niggas make it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, far as from a, you know, me calling myself a big OG, I want to tell you niggas, you know, don't let no, no niggas stop you. You know what I'm saying? Don't let no bullshit that, you know, shit that everybody face. You know what I'm saying? Like, go hard. You know what I'm saying? Like, put on for you, put on for your family, and represent for the city, man. I want to see you boys up. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I want to see y'all doing good. So keep doing what you're doing. We off the couch, you hear me? Yeah. Off the couch. Off the couch. Nah, for real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saying that. Off the couch. Nah, for couch. real. Just like so, that, though. Appreciate it. I appreciate you, boy, for pulling up on me, man. Thank y'all very much for 2023. I want to see y'all niggas doing good, man. Keep going up. Uh, keep getting money. And keep repping that big A1 shit. Shit show. Appreciate you.